now you are observing this is a QC is going on for the machine see this phantom is continuously scanned by the machine see you can observe this is a phantom see this is a phantom and is it visible in the image now machine is scanning to this phantom and it will be adjust the reference value got it so this is called a QC and which we have to perform on daily basis okay. ah, start. Now see, after completion of QC, window use one master, that is a daily QC has passed. Right? That means there is no issue with the machine. Machine has set its own reference value, right? Which will give you better quality of the image. After that, you just press it on OK. Now I want to take a patient, right? I want to perform a scan. So for that, what I have to do? See, you can also here perform exam. Come to close. Perform exam press on the perform exam right patient name you can add uh, name of patient suppose test 2 we have to add make it okay then uh, weight id lot of things you have to introduce okay then you have to select the scan ap lumbar spine left hip right hip left forearm right forearm whole body dual hip iva imagine etc you can select whatever the protocol you want right select required thing and go on the next so you will get the image here according to this you have to set the patient on the patient table see you can observe this is your patient table right you have to make the arrangement of patient you have to sleep patient on this table and you can adjust see come to close you can adjust this is your patient control movement right so this is your table you can move table right this side it will move at the downward this is your arm movement of arm see you can observe this is you can observe the arm movement of arm right at the left side suppose you want to move arm at the right side you can set it like this and if you press the center it will be located at the center point right now once your patient arrangement has been done then you can press a start scan right you have to press a start scan that means machine has started to start Got it? Right? And once your scan has been completed, it will take time. 4 minutes, 3 minutes, 5 minutes, 6 minutes. It depends upon patient and depends, up, depends upon your scan type. Right? Once your scan has been completed, you have to make exit exam, come to point and you want to analyze the scan. You want to make the report. So, you want to analyze the scan. You have to press on analyze. So, where is our test 1? Suppose this is your patient test 1. Right? Go on next. So, this is a report which is generated by the machine for the particular patient. You can observe. See, one minute, suppose. I will take some patient report is here. See, this is a one report which is generated by the hip bone, right? This is a report. This is your image and this is exactly a report. These are the different different values. According to value, machine will give you what is exactly problem in the patient means if deficiency of calcium deficiency of vitamin right lot of things we can conclude with help of all these things which part has to be covered by the doctors right once your analysis is completed you can go into the report i want to create a report for the particular patient select your particular patient press on next right next configure report okay configure okay and it will use your report. See, this is the report which is generated for the particular patient. Right? So, this is nothing but your DEXA scan machine. Right? How to switch off the machine now? You just close all the things. Right? You can observe here. Come to close. This is exit switch is there. Press on the exit. You will get the two options. Exit QDR without shutdown. Exit QDR with shutdown. Make exit QDR with shutdown. Okay machine will shut down automatically right this is nothing but your DEXA scan this is nothing but basic information regarding to the DEXA scan thank you